Hey, what's up everyone? First, I apologize that this video is not horizontal, it's vertical. But uh, for a few years there, there was a game everyone was talking about called Adventure Capitalist. Now this is going through the internet, sweeping the internet. Adventure Communist, Glorious Leader trailer. So uh, a few years ago, and, ever, and this is what's really weird to me, is that's what, that's what we have... That's what our current candidates are running on, is communism and uh, socialism. And that's what kind of, basically they just want everyone to be kumbaya and just kind of, it, it doesn't work in this society, it just doesn't work. It usually, it winds up leading toward control and dictatorship. That's what it winds up leading toward. I'm sorry, but it's just... Sadly, it's not going to work. Now, maybe in, in a spiritual mindset, yes, it would. But in the society we have now, I mean, I'm hearing about the way people are. In in school, students threaten teachers. They threaten their life. And if you'd have done that back in my back in my days of school, oh boy, I'm telling you what. I mean, I'm hearing awful stories of teachers, students threatening the teachers, consistently threatening the teachers threatening them with their lives, saying they're going to draw blood. I mean, what what the heck? I mean, it's like, I mean, back in my day, back, I mean, just when I was in high school from 2009 to 13, if, I mean, they told us we were the last generation. That's what the teachers told us, that we were the very last generation. They said the new generation is unruly, hateful, and uh, they always said if you'd acted that way back then... You'd have got an A whooping. You'd basically, yeah, you'd have, you would have, it would have, yeah. <laughs> they would have definitely whooped some butt for sure. Uh, but that's the way the school would have done. Uh, but they couldn't, it, it had gotten to where they couldn't lay their hands on a student without lawsuits. So they kind of backed off and everything's gotten out of hand. But back to this, that's just the way everything's getting. The people that are running now, running for president, they're running on communism communism and strangeness is happening outside again right now so I'm sorry but they're running on communism and running on uh, socialism they claim everything will be kumbaya everyone's going to get along and uh, oh we're going to just destroy the borders and we're all going to work together and equally share our part yeah that would be nice to equally share the assets in this world and equally distribute and help each other out. I had a vision of that since I was a child. People getting along and but the problem is when you get rid of the social order and you get rid of the certain laws and things, people take advantage of that and then it becomes like the old west and people start killing each other and saying, "Hey, but I want my part. This is my part." Oh, no law says it's my your part. So it's like, you know, it's supposed to be equal shares and then no one will do anything and then people will just riot. It would be a mess. Kind of like the uh, social unrest you see in Venezuela and other countries taking place right now. And the leader only pays them $2 a month. You can't live on that. But look at this commercial of communism. Communist world power must be people button. Wanted. Glorious leader for new communist world power must be people person. Le I realize this is a game, but it's conditioning children, conditioning the masses to, to like communism. The entire civilization into golden age is pretty big job. Glorious leader must do all things. Must also have strong delegation skills. Is paradox? Not for glorious leader. Must also have perfect golf game, heal the sick with tears, and look great on beach. Sound like you? Then download Adventure Communist and take your rightful place as glorious leader. Please provide references of glorious and heroic deeds. Capitalists need not apply. This is glorious heroic deeds. Cap and of course they uh capitalists need not apply. You see right there it says capitalists need not apply right there at the bottom. That's conditioning the mind into I mean yeah, they say you can get a business in America, you know, it's it's difficult they act like you can. Of course the elites the the 2% do run everything. They do, and they want to get rid of the bipartisanship and get rid of these two political parties. And 
They claim they want to go to some utopian society, but the way the direction this world's heading, it's not the utopian society that I was dreaming of, that I was hoping of, that I felt strongly about for many, many years before now. We're heading in some other direction that is not that they'll bring in a false god and it's just not what not what I was envisioning. It's uh it's crazy, but if you'd have mentioned, just tell me, if you'd have acted the way students do today, the way children do today, threatening the lives of their teachers, threatening fellow students, beating people up, violent acts of violence, they wound up having to go to a courtroom. They kicked them out of the court and because of their unruly actions. And the teacher said, we don't have that kind of power over them. We can't kick them out. Many of them don't want to be there, but they can't drop out. And they can't quit school because you're forced to go. So many of them, they don't want to be there. And they are violent and hateful and threatening each other and the teachers. And there's nothing to, that they can do about it. And do you really see people living kumbaya in a world like that? I can't see that anymore. A few years ago, people like us, you know, we were put into this world to try to get people on a mindset, a spiritual mindset, heading, heading toward a, a positive direction, but... <sighs> It's going in a direction that's not not good. And that's what these people are running on. That's what, I mean, I remember like King of the Hill, commie, go home. They were like, you can't be communist in America. It was like, communism was like, it was like a bad word. That's the way they always represented it. Like it was a swear word. They represented communism like it was the worst thing since burnt toast. I know I've said that reference a lot, but I mean it. Sorry, I don't feel well, so if I sound a little bit off, then that's why. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just come on, come on. I mean, if you just said down with capitalism, up with communism, and up with socialism, or whatever it is, and that people have told me online that. Socialism is basically a form of communism. Like what Russia always had. If you'd have said a few years ago, and yet they hate Russia. <laughs> Go figure, crazy. Uh, but if you'd have said a few years ago that, that, that you wanted to become, that you wanted to be a communist, you would have been kicked out. You would have been called a traitor. You would have been like a Benedict Arnold. You would have been a Benedict. You would have been a total traitor. That's all I've got to say. I don't get it. I mean, I don't get the whole thing. I don't get this. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta take a drink. If you'd have said something like that a few years ago, you would have been ousted. You would have been completely ousted. I mean, it just. I don't know. We're headed in a very strange direction. I've got some more videos that I plan to make. I'm not feeling well. But anyway, thank you for everything. Peace. If you feel like, uh, I mean, if you feel like donating and uh, helping out, please do so. I'll talk very soon. My PayPal's below. Peace. Much love. Bye.